How's it going everyone? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the brush tool in Canva. This is a brand new feature that allows you to draw in Canva. That's right, you can draw freehand in Canva. The good thing about this is that it's available in the free version as well as the pro version. I'll show you how to use the brush tool and some cool things you can do with it. If you find this video useful, feel free to like and subscribe and also watch to the end as I have a special Canva offer just for you. So let's get straight into it. Firstly, open up Canva and open up any of these designs. On the left hand side, you have all the tabs here. If you scroll to the bottom, you'll see more. Click on the more tab and then you have the apps and integrations. Again, scroll all the way to the bottom and you'll see this new feature called Draw. It's still in beta. Click on it. As you can see, you can create simple sketches and drawings. Click on Use and it should now appear on the left hand side. Here are the options. They have four brushes you can select. The Pen Tool, Marker, Glow Pen and Highlighter. Then they have range sliders for size and transparency and all the color selections at the bottom. So if I click on pen, I'll select blue and then now I can write hello. I'm drawing with a mouse. If you have a pen and trackpad, it might be easier, but you can definitely draw here. Let me draw a smiley face as well. That's a bit of a wonky one, but there you go. You can actually draw freehand. The marker allows you to do the same thing. You can change the size and also change this transparency. It's very similar to the pen tool. I'm not sure exactly what the difference is. They also have the glow pen, so you can draw a white line and the outline displays as a neon glow. As you can see, I can draw two lines here. And if I make an outline of this Canva logo, you can see that it glows. I can then push the logo to the background and maybe that will give it a slight glow effect. The highlighter pen does what it says on the tin. Click on it and it produces a square brush head. And you can use that to highlight different text as I'm showing you here. And then they have the eraser tool. Now, once you click done, it will flatten that image and create its own element. So now what you can do with this is you can move it around the screen or you can drag in the corners and then resize it. Now, if you want to save a specific drawing, you would need to make the drawing, then click done and it would flatten the image. So now you can adjust that individual drawing. So with this piece of text and a smiley face, I can create it, save it, and now I can resize it. This opens a whole new world of possibilities because now you can create your own elements. If you can't find the exact graphic you want, you can almost draw your own. Another cool feature they recently added is the color picker. So if you click on the plus sign and then this pen symbol, now you can pick an exact color from the logo or from any image or photo. So I've selected the Canva purple that's in the bottom and now I can apply a glow pen with that specific color. Obviously my outline's a bit wonky. Once you click done you can see that is now saved. So what else can you do with this draw tool? Well you could create custom graphics and make birthday messages. For example here's one that I'm quickly creating using the glow pen. You could wish someone happy birthday export the JPEG and then post it on someone's social media profile. You could customize it with their name, add pictures, do whatever you want. Another thing you could do is you can touch up photos. I'm not saying you should do this, but you can do this. For example, you could whiten teeth. So if you select white, adjust the transparency so it looks more realistic. You don't want it too bright. And then using the marker pen, I'm just going over the teeth using a white color, adjusting the size and transparency as I go along. Try to make it as realistic as possible, but I mean, you could touch up photos and whiten teeth. Now, what I'm going to do is just lower the transparency again and reduce the size. Then I'm gonna go over the edges just to blend it in slightly. 
Um, there you go. If we compare the new one with the original photo, you can see that it looks slightly brighter. You don't want to make it too unrealistic. Another thing you could do is use the color picker as a spot healing brush. I know it's not designed to be a spot healing brush, but say you wanted to quickly tidy up an image, you can do that. So just click on the plus sign and then click on the plus sign again to get to the color picker. And then what you could do is get the exact color of the skin nearby where you want a blemish to be removed. Once the color's selected, then what I'll do is I'll select the marker reduce the size slightly and also reduce the transparency and then what I'll do is just slowly click on that and the blemish would fade away. I want to keep it realistic but if you wanted to do that and go into much more detail you can. Now if we just look at the original and the new one it's just slightly tidied up. Now I don't want to come across as superficial make sure you love yourself but these are things you can do with your photos. Another use case for the brush tool is to create your own digital art. If you've got better skills than me, you can draw animals or create any types of pictures. You could create your own NFTs if you wanted to. If you didn't know, NFTs stand for non-fungible tokens. They're effectively digital art that you own and that you can sell on the internet. One common marketplace where you can buy and sell digital art is called OpenSea. Here I'm making a rubbish attempt at creating a dolphin i'm going to use the glow pen to create some dolphin dust coming out of the dolphin's back um, you can save that by clicking done once that image is saved you can then copy and paste it onto different backgrounds you can add different attributes to it and add different layers to your image to make each one unique i'm going to call these dizzy dolphins now they're not the greatest piece of artwork you've seen in history and if you want to buy them, let me know. I have no idea why anyone would want to buy them, but people buy ridiculous things on the internet. You see them all over the place. If you do want to buy these, let me know and I'll mint them and sell them to you. I'm happy to do that. If you want a tutorial on how to create NFTs, mint them and sell them on the internet, let me know in the comments and I can do a more dedicated video about that. If you run an online business and use Canva every day to produce social media content, then I've got an exclusive bundle just for you. It contains over 100 ready-made templates and over 900 Canva search keywords to help you produce content faster and better than ever before. Check out the link in the description and you can buy this exclusive bundle. Now, if you found this video useful, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, Learn With Seb, and I'll catch you in the next one.